hello friends welcome back to laravel 9 tutorial in this video we are going to discuss about how to export data into csv file right so this is my laravel 9 application and here you can see this is my database i already connected so if you check my file you can see the laravel 9 crude this is a database and uh, here you can see the student table and there are a few records actually i am going to export these data into csv file sometimes if you want to create any report or sometime may you get some requirement that all the data you need in a csv format right so that time how you can do this today i will show you so if you check the uh, student uh, page i already created so you, if you just uh, go to the visual studio code and have routes that is web.php and i already created the list that is student list so now if i just uh, go here and let's check what appear so you can see a nice page a nice listing page actually i want to export that page in the csv format so for this there are lots of packages and the best package my recommendation use mat website right so this is very easy mad website in laravel so laravel excel introduction so you can use mat website for excel also and in this video we are going to discuss about the csp right so just click on that and here this is the laravel excel that is the mat website uh, package and you can see the installation process this is the requirement you can check right so now the installation process so i will going to install this package through the composer so simply just use composer require mat website excel so just go to the terminal and close the server and then run composer require mat website excel okay so it will install the mat website package you can check this is a 3.1 version of mat website this is the latest version is installing and the publishing is completed now if i just go to the second part so just go to the uh, documentation section so here if you want to register it yourself add the service provider in config app.php okay so just go uh, into the config so here is the config and there is the app.php and there are two types of things that is one is provider array and one is the aliases array right so this is the provider array so all the provider is linked here and this is for aliases so when you want to use uh, suppose uh, the excel package or csv package or mat website package actually that time every time you don't need to write the full provider path so you can create aliases name and by that aliases name you can call right so simply just register it into the provider section this is the provider path and all are provided in the documentation section and the next thing you want to set the aliases so simply just use uh, like this or you can set your own right so just go to the aliases array and you can set like this okay so you can set as a excel or csv no problem whatever you want you can call it, right so this is the name you can uh, get access of this uh, excel package from anywhere of your application okay so next step so next step all you written here so now all the configuration part is done now need to publish okay so just go here and copy that things okay so copy okay great now just go to the terminal and paste it here and it's published and when it published it actually created a file into a config excel.php actually this is the package when you install this into your application these uh, are installed into the vendor that is a vendor mad website excel and after the publishing we can use that so that time it's uh, created a separate config file that is the excel.php it is going to show you what is in there now just in the config folder you will get the excel.php okay so this is the configuration file of excel so you can configure as at your own so simply there is a exports array and in the export array you can set some uh, parameters like when using from query the query is automatically chunked 
means if you mention the chunk size is thousand that means at a time in a csv there will be a thousand of record will uh, import uh, sorry export right so this is the chunk size if you want to make it hundred that time only hundred record will be export in this way there is pre-calculated formulas so sometimes if you get uh, some calculation like uh, some uh, you will know if you use the excel or uh, that time you can understand so by default it's false so i don't need these things and there is a strict null comparison okay so there is false when enabling strict null comparison md cells then it will be added to the seat okay now and there is some uh, extra more things that is the delimiter uh, and uh, there is a delimiter settings like a uh, delimiter should be comma so sometimes there is uh, records like a comma separate that time delimiter is comma then enclosure then line ending okay so th that will manage your map from mat website and if you want to change or as per your recommend you can change okay so all other things and if you want to import you can import from that package also so this is the import setting so actually in this video we are going to concentrate about export okay so we'll uh, export a csv file uh, into our application okay so currently i am not changing anything in excel.php we are using simply uh, as simply as possible i want to show you how we can export um, csv data right so this part is done so i just closing this now i am just going to the student controller where i actually need to uh, create a function okay so just go um, to the app http controller this is the student controller okay so here i will uh, create a function to export csv and before that i want to create a export class okay so by using that class i will uh, export data that will be the recommended things actually uh, this is this will be the good practice right so let's create a class for export so simply just php artisan um, make export okay sorry export and then the class name the export class name that is i am showing the student export this is the uh, class name and i want to export from the model so actually if you look so here we are using the student model so simply just use that path student model and i am setting that uh, model student folder okay so just enter this so export created successfully okay so i just exporting from the student if you don't use that you can uh, do it manually also so if you just check this what is actually generated now uh, just uh, go to the visual studio code you will get a new folder that is exports folder and here you will get the student export right as we uh, uh, added the model student actually we simply need to add the students so that the reason it uh, looks like this so app model student it is using from the student export okay so manually you can uh, add this and if you want to add multiple models you can add this so if you need any relation type of data or uh, some things uh, you can use that okay so this is the export class and by default you will get the collection this is the function you will get by default here i just going to export data from name email phone address id these five things okay these five things only i want to export so for this i need to create a heading okay so there will have a heading uh, uh, in the csv file so first make sure i am creating the heading so um, heading is very important thing so it's required so now i am just going to create a function uh, public um, function function heading okay so headings uh, sorry headings and uh, just mention this will be the error type and here simply just to return uh, the heading name like so simply just write i want to print the id i want to print the name and there is email phone address okay email email then phone 
then address okay so this is my heading and here i just going to uh, fetch all the records from this student table so for that i to go to the student model so just go to the student model and here i will write a query to fetch all the records from the student uh, table so simply uh, just create a function uh, public and this will be a static function public static uh, function and uh, something uh, like a uh, get all student okay get all student so this is the function and uh, here uh, i will just uh, storing the all the record into the result and simply using db as we are using this so we can uh, get access of db and just mention the table name so here simply write the table name is students and i have to fetch the records some records that is select so i have to select the id then uh, name then email then phone and address phone and address okay so that should match with the database field name okay so this will be just exactly same things as you have the column name but here this is the export uh, this is the heading okay so you can uh, make it different also as per your requirement okay so this is the things and i want to get all the records so simply just uh, write a gate and i want to get this record in a array format so simply write to array right and finally just return the result return the result okay so if you now call this function from this student export task that time you will get all records from the student table and you can access from here right so i just uh, closing the default function and here i just going to write other uh, things simply uh, just uh, write return collect and here i just going to use this student model collect student and here just uh, mention the function name get all student great okay so all are ready so this is my function and i am using the headings so that the reason i need to uh, use the headings so simply just uh, import or just use the namespace from the headings that is the from the mat website so here just simply write uh, with headings h e a d i n g s okay so exactly same name there is a class inside the mat website package actually we are just going to use that and it implements the with headings great so where is the error uh, yes this is the error okay and all is done now uh, the student model it's getting record and we are uh, calling this from the collection function and this is the heading okay now i just uh, need to call from the student controller i just need to create a uh, url from that url will get the uh, csv file so simply just create another function public function uh, export to csv right and just use that so first of all we need to call this student export class so simply just write app exports so we are just importing uh, use app exports sorry spelling mistake use app exports and then the class name so what is the class name that is the student export so simply just add that things and we created a csv aliases into the config app.php so let's check once yes this is the csv alias so simply just use that also so i am just going to call these things so use csv okay so two things we need to use from this export csv function now i just going to return uh, the csv 
and then I just going to download the function uh, download the file uh, there's a file and just call new and the class name student export okay by default it will call the collection actually here you can see this is the collection right so now the new student export and suppose my file name will be student um, student record dot csv okay so this is the file name okay so all are done now we need to call this function from the uh, routes so just go here and create another route so route and uh, get csv export and i already registered the student controller here so we don't need to write it again so just copy this and here simply write student export class and then the function name what is the function name i created just now so export csv okay so all are done now let's start the server so php artisan server okay so server is running now if you just uh, refresh you will get uh, the uh, server is running now just hit this url and that time it will export the csv file okay so it's uh, getting the ca student record dot csv actually which i mentioned here student record dot csv let's open that file so here you will get the id name email phone and address okay so this is the csv file and if you want to create a excel file also so simply uh, just change it to excel name that is the excel extension so xlsx then if you just uh, uh, call this url again so you will get the excel file also so simply just uh, click on this and you will get the student record.excel file Okay. so both can be used by mat website and uh, you will get easily okay so just uh, change the extension and it will change the file format also this is the excel file and this is the csv file okay so both can be generated okay so hope uh, you can understand this video and still if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section and next day we are going to discuss about important things i will going to uh, do the reverse things of that things so from that csv file i want to import that data into the database okay so using laravel so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye